The Great Barrier Reef is located in the northeastern coast of Queensland, Australia. It is about 500 million years old, but its modern state was formed 8,000 years ago that developed after the last ice age. The coral system is composed of 2,900 individual reefs and 900 islands stretching 1,400 miles. To experience the Great Barrier Reef, there are hundreds of tours along the North Queensland coast, most popular off the city of Cairns. After talking to the local guides, reefs that are closer to the coast tend to have more tours through them and arguably may not be as immaculate as reefs that are further out to sea, where only two to three companies have permits to operate in the area. Although a friend decided to take those budget tours, they encountered more sea turtles than another friend who went to an outer reef tour. Sometimes it's a matter of sea and weather conditions as well as luck. I ended up going to the outer reefs with Silver Swift. There are three reefs to visit dependent on the weather conditions and various packages consisting of predominantly diving or just snorkeling or just a mixture of both in different price range. I made sure to choose one that included a buffet lunch though, knowing hunger will ensue from all that swimming. I also learned that reefs further north of Cairns have fewer tours through them, and so tours are far expensive but arguably more pristine. The coastal city Port Douglas, an hour drive north of the touristic city of Cairns, is popular with Australian citizens and retirees and is fairly more expensive. It's a mellow town and tours there are pricier, organized in smaller groups, but people boast that the reef near there is magnificent. There is also a snorkeling tour off the coast of Cape Tribulation called Ocean Safari and they tour the remote Mackay Reef limited to about 20 people and they have tours two times a day, early morning and afternoon. When I had the chance to get up there, I decided to take that tour. It's about a three hour drive from Cairns to Cape Tribulation with a ferry crossing that will cost $26 return and the tour is about a five hour reef tour. 25 minutes to get to the reef and you snorkel two sites around the McKay Reef Zone.
So whichever tours you take, I found weather is the determining factor. And to avoid the seasonal crowds and still enjoy the great weather, I recommend April to late July in experiencing the Great Barrier Reef. Definitely won't disappoint.